everybody for coming out in. We, he filled the whole place, and it, and it means a lot to all of us and to my mother. I both volunteered to speak on behalf of the four of us because we didn't know if any of us could get through this the other day, and I didn't know what to say. Was, how do you fit four lifetimes of memories and experiences in a uh, short speech? So later that evening, we were all sitting around my cousins, and we were talking about my dad, telling stories, wondering what kind of beer him and Frank are drinking up there right now. <laughs> and we started talking about these sidewalks that my dad built all over our property that was over in Bostonville at the end of Rock Creek Road. And he built these sidewalks every day. He'd come home, and he'd pour a square, and he'd frame the next one. Because we had to have the sidewalk going from the house to the tool shed because any good country person can't be expected to walk across grass to get to the tool shed. <laughs> the sidewalk. And of course, when you've done the tool shed, you need to get the rose bushes, so we need a sidewalk going there. And we should have known God was ready for us to move on to a new property when we started having sidewalks connecting to the sidewalks. <laughs> <laughs> when you go to the tool shed, you shouldn't have to come back to the house to go to the rose bushes. You should go to the shortcut. <laughs> So, telling that story, it hit me who our dad is. He's a guy who just built things. He always built something. We start with the little red and green house on Rock Creek Road, and I watch the screen in porch turn into the living room. And then the new screen in porch turned into the den. And then there was a deck out front. Mr. Monkus, if he's here, remember when he built that dump, that deck. <coughs> So pretty soon we were out of places to live, and although we didn't want to, God gave him a whole blank canvas over here on Candy Lane to start all over with. And when he got there, he built his house from scratch, he built sheds, he built a swimming pool. Mike called it the redneck swimming pool. <laughs> Mom, Mom called it the country country club. <laughs> and, he, and, and, and he built all these things, but he wouldn't have had a purpose to build anything except for my mom gave him a purpose, because my mom's the one who loves people around, and she's welcoming everybody there, and my dad was always building spaces and places so that all of our family and our friends and everybody would have, always have a place to come and surround. As long as he could go lock the door in his bedroom and go to sleep whenever <laughs> So now I'd like to just show you guys some of this family my dad built. I would like for all of his grandchildren and great-grandchildren to stand up to show everybody how many of those that aren't up here with us at all. I would like, stay standing please, because now I would like for all the aunts, nieces, nephews, my cousins, sister-in-laws, Aunt Kitty, that means all y'all stand up. Everybody that was in our family. <laughs> yes, and Della. Probably I would like everybody to stand up who my mom and dad ever made felt like they were part of this family. <laughs> Please. Please. up here wants you guys to come over to the little world my dad built on Candy Lane and celebrate his life with us. I can't think of any other thing he'd want it. I know my mom has a half a dozen eggs, a package of hot dogs, <laughs> and somehow she'll make that go far enough. To be <laughs> so thank you guys all for the outpouring of love. I really appreciate it. We all really appreciate it. 
And we thank you guys all for being a part of our family.